this is my small high power vacuum tube collection and in this video I will go a bit into detail so let's start with the weakest tube in my collection it would be the GU81 it's um, Russian pentod it can do around 700 to 800 watts of IF output um, it has a graphite anode and the filament tracks 10 amps at 12 to 13 volts so it's a pretty nice tube and it grows very nice um, when the filament is on and if you really push a bit of power through the tube the anode glows very nice um, then next to that we have the SRS457 it's an I think German um, tetrode it can do a bit more than one kilowatt and the filament also takes 10 amps at 10 volts um, so then we move on to the most powerful tube in my collection <clears throat> this is the GU39B it's an absolute beast um, it can do 13 kilowatts of RF output um, the filament takes um, 100 amps at 6.3 volts, which is pretty insane if you think about it Then right here we have the GU 39A Which is basically the same thing as the GU 39B, but it has no heatsink So this is the water-cooled version of it um, Which is pretty nice Then right here we have the GU 5B, which is basically the smaller brother of the G39 um, It can do 5 kilowatts of output. It's also in triode and well, it's a very very nice tube um, uh, The filament takes 20 amps at 12 volts Then right here we have a pretty special tube. This is the GU56 It's um very special tube because it's an ambient air cooled tube so that means you need no fan to run this tube that's why it has this massive heatsink um, but without the heatsink it can do like I think 900 watts of RF output but um, with a heat uh, with a fan that blows onto the heatsink you can get a bit more than one kilowatt out of that tube so also pretty nice then we move on, we have a second GU81 and then we have the Russian, uh, Russian GMI90 um, it's also a tetrode, it's a very nice pulse tube it was used in like um, radar applications back then so pretty nice um, the military in Russia used a lot of very cool pulse tubes in radar applications, there are a lot of cool tubes um, very cool tube for example would be the GMI 2B it's an absolute beast it looks awesome but sadly I don't have it yet um, then we move on to my biggest tube in my collection not the most powerful one but the biggest it's this huge Mercury Thyrotron it even has like a small puddle of Mercury right here sadly I don't know exactly what this Thyrotron is. There's nothing written on the glass or anything but um, I guess it's in the 15 kilowatt ra uh, kilovolt range and which is pretty nice um, and it also has this very cool socket um, which is pretty awesome um, well I really hope I get a bit of details on that tube I will still look for details but I can't find anything if someone knows what this tube is, please leave a comment. Um, so, yeah, this was basically my small vacuum tube collection. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Um, and yeah, if you guys have questions about any of these tubes, you can leave a comment. 